welcome back to cynthia untamed this is your youthful and educational channel where we have conversations with and about children and youth in africa and we inspire the current generation of leaders across the continent today we are talking about gifting gifting a friend gifting your mother gifting a loved one gifting a colleague and i just thought when you're a young person sometimes you just don't have a budget to buy a lot of things but always remember that even with 50 shillings you can actually get something for someone so i went out to maasai market maasai market in nairobi the one next to the supreme court of kenya and i bought two pieces of art called batik Painting. So the ones I bought were 200 Kenya shillings, but the prices there range from as low as 200 shillings to as much as 20,000 shillings. So just buy what you can afford. The first batik painting is of a woman, it's yellow, they called it sunset when I was buying. <laughs> so it's of a woman as you can see wrapped in her attire and she is carrying a traditional guard here. She's carrying a baby and she's carrying another guard on, on her back. Um, <laughs> so when I was thinking of this picture, or rather this painting, and the person I was buying it for, my interpretation was that women are naturals, and not necessarily naturals of children, because uh, there's also that stereotypical thing of that women should just bear children, live in the house, and do the housework. But this child i thought of it of course as your typical child i also thought of it as a country as a nation an economy the world women nurture the world women build the world and they build the world for future generations and you can see on her back portrays hard work so when i thought of it i was thinking about the hard work of the woman I know, <laughs> rather the person I was buying it for. Then that, I don't know what it's called in traditional Kenya, but it's uh, some sort of beadwork for the head and the neck. A woman is beautiful and of course she should adorn herself however she wants to adorn herself. And there she is on the go, on the move working to build her country and her nation and you can see that she's carrying a baby she's carrying something on the back and something on her on her hand traditional guard here just showing that women are able to do so many tasks and accomplish them but also not to forget that women need support because if you can see the outfit she's dressed up but when you look at her feet see one of her feet she's she's dressed up she's wearing her shoe i'm assuming but on this leg she's she's just wearing the black shoe without a sock of course then that shows that if you do not support women then in one area or another they will really suffer somehow <laughs> so that was really my basic interpretation of this portrait and just not to show you when you look at it you look at the stereotypical woman that she's doing all the household work but also to look at how she nurtures economies nurtures countries nurtures companies so what do you think of this artwork then for the second painting as you can see it is a woman again 
carrying a baby, a basket, a banana on her head. I don't know how she's doing that. And then there's a girl. Can you see there's a girl at the at the bottom there? You know, funny thing enough, this is the first time I'm actually seeing the girl. <laughs> I had not seen her. The whole time I've just been seeing the woman. But you can see there's a small girl there. Then she's carrying a baby, a basket, a banana, and she's walking home. This also had a similar interpretation to this one. The, the two. I, I gave them both the same interpretation. And just showing that women continue to build economies. They carry economies on their heads. Guys, can you imagine? Women are leaders. And for me, the banana just represents leadership there. Also represents the fertility of the land. Remember, bananas grow where the soil is fertile. If you look at many places where banana plantations are, the soil is very, very fertile. And bananas can actually be used for so many things. You can take them at breakfast. You can take them at lunchtime. You can crush them and feed your baby. So just to show that if women work for the economies and the food they produce or whatever it is that they produce for their companies also goes on to build the potential of every country, every nation. And you can see the basket there. For me, this represents women and their responsibilities. You see, a lot of times we say that women must do this, women must be like this. But also to remember that women shouldn't be put in a box. Women are very diverse. Women are very different. A woman who is from Western Kenya may not necessarily have the same challenges as a woman from Eastern Kenya. So also to look at those diverse aspects of the responsibilities of women. And of course, there's a baby on her back. So of course, that shows she continues to nurture not just her children, but also economies and the world. Then there is a girl there. For me, that girl, the small girl here, for me, she represents the diversity of generations. Remember, a lot of times when you talk about mentorship, we keep saying that, yes, it's the older women to nurture the younger generation. But sometimes I think younger women can, how do we say it? We usually say it's older women to nurture the younger women. But sometimes also younger women can mentor older women. And that's why we keep talking a, a lot about intergenerational dialogues there. And for me, just like I mentioned about responsibility, it's also about showing that women as they move they can also empower other women just because you are growing as a woman does not mean that another woman should be a threat to you i think there is enough food at the table for everyone as you can see if the woman carries the food if she carries the economy on her head then it just shows that there's a lot for everyone and i think it's important to know that women are not necessarily the same so look at these two paintings for me, I'd just like to say when you look at this, the first impression that will come to your head is how we view women. We've given them this specific kind of definition, especially African women, black women. This is how they look. But if you look at it again, you can actually interpret the portraits, the paintings in different perspectives. What, what do you guys think? I really think so. So always when you buy something, just try and think of the different perspectives so that is yellow sunset they didn't tell me the name of this other one so i'm just gonna call it sky i don't know it's blue enough or i'll call it land i'll i'm going to call it land because it's a bit greenish <laughs> yeah so there's sunset and land and for me i really hope that this will inspire my two friends to continue just being the best that they can let me give you now a better outlook so that you can see the two of them. Ooh. Yeah. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? For these paintings, I decided not to buy them in a frame because I'm going to be moving around with them in a car. So I wasn't so sure how am I going to move around with it. Also, I want them to be very flexible for the people I will give them to. 
so what you can do actually is for the paintings if you buy one like this it's a piece of cloth so what you can do is you can go to a local we call them fundis here but you can just go to a local carpenter and then you ask them to put the frame for you in both directions in all directions i mean the length the width the height so that's what you can do alternatively you can find a more creative way of putting them on the wall for me i just put them temporarily so that i could show you how they look like but you can find a a way of putting them on the wall then also if you have a wall that is sort of kind of a soft board you can actually put them there and pin them and then to take care of them just try and put i think some clear polythene at the top because the wax actually collects dust otherwise this is how i'm going to give them out so that they're easier to move around and they're also more flexible for the owners to put them wherever they may want to put them in a very flexible way another kenyan brand that i love and i thought i should absolutely share with you guys is peperuka peperuka can you see oh i love it now peperuka is this business concept that has been using kenyan phrases putting them on t-shirts, magnetic gift, ca gift cards, uh, thermal cups, all you can think of, and sharing them out to the public. Of course, then you have to purchase. So this is their bag. It's amazing. You can check them out on Instagram. I'll leave their page as well. And I loved it because I was looking for something that I could gift a lawyer. That was so difficult. But I found this cup let me show you and i just loved the kenyan quip or rather the typical what the typical kenyan lawyer would say so as you can see it's written there the law is very clear and it's funny because that's what kenyan lawyers actually say they always say the Kenyan, the law is very clear. And then, you know, it's so funny. They go on to argue and argue about what the law means. Arguing about what the word shall means, what if means. So I just thought that is really funny. But the cup is beautiful. The law is very clear. Can you see? Peperuka. So that is the cup. And then... I found an apron. I don't know if you guys use aprons, but I liked this apron so much. So, so much. First things first, the caption. Nico almost. What every Kenyan says. Nico almost. Nico almost. Nico almost. I don't know if you guys use aprons, but I liked this majorly because of the pockets. Can you see? So you can wear your apron and listen to music and put your phone there without it falling off from your pocket. That's why I really liked it. And it's two-sided. So you can use either this side that's written Nico almost. Or you can use this other side. You can just change it and wear this other side. And it also has a pocket. But guys, the fabric is amazing amazing the fabric is amazing it's totally worth it so you could gift this to your friend or your mother or you could just buy it for yourself if you love cooking <laughs> oh my and then i also loved the wooden spoons these are still kenyan brands wooden spoons but i bought them specifically because of this this design as well as the quotes so this one says remember your roots and this other one says words are sweet but they never take the place of food so one thing i like about these spoons is of course you can use them in the kitchen but i also thought that you can use them as a decoration somehow this table will ensure it very well but there's a way you can place them like this and just use them as something 
artificial for your table or for your wall or for something just something for decoration or somehow pin them on the wall if you have nails you can pin them on the wall and they'd look really really nice <laughs> i presume yeah so that's peperuka but i am also a fan of kenyan jewelry i love jewelry i love Maasai jewelry especially so I did not get this from Peperuka I got them from Dubois Street commonly referred to as Dubois <laughs> but really it is Dubois Street I have a lot of Kenyan jewelry so I just thought let me just also gift this person the same a lot of Maasai jewelry so this is a choker beautiful so you can get this they have bangles they have necklaces and you also have this you can also go to kariako kariako has a, a much more variety or you can wait for the maasai market at the supreme court or i guess you'd have to go to yaya or village market or somewhere but i got this from dubois because it was more accessible at the time yeah so that is it for kenyan brands I hope you love them and I really do hope that you'll keep supporting Kenyan brands. <laughs> You've come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for being part of Cynthia Untamed. As always, a call to action for you is to check out the Buy Kenya, Build Kenya strategy. And it's basically about buying locally manufactured goods and services so that we can build our own country and also export the same. The only way for us to create more jobs for our country, for our young people and achieve Vision 2030 is to buy locally produced goods like these two pieces of art that I have just shown you. So make sure you check out Buy Kenya, Build Kenya and promote our local economy. Until next time, see you.